are heading to a lake that I've seen. It's been tagged on my Google Maps for a good while now. It's called Lac de Bouclet and it just looks amazing. Very, very blue. Um, also, I tripped out before at Rich. Come and have a look at this. Look how trippy the water looks because it's so clear. Spring water, that. Mountain spring water. I mean, I'm only so shocked because the water in England <laughs> is so brown. It's just very nice to see very clear water. So there we go. Scotland's very clear, but uh, yeah, Manchester and Nottingham where we are on the brown side. <laughs> Okay, let's do a temperature test. Oh, that is cold. I mean, it is all coming off like the snow melt. Do we do it? Do we go in tomorrow? I just did a temperature test and it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Very it really does, it's so blue. Don't fall in. Oh, that would hurt. That would hurt, wouldn't it? What do you think, Bowie? Are you going to go in? I mean, definitely wake you up. Maybe. We'll uh, see how I feel in the morning. Jump in there at 7 am. <laughs> it does say like around the lake on some of the park ups that swimming's forbidden, so. Oh, does it? Okay. I don't know. But... This is a pond or run off from the main lake, isn't it? Well, yeah. Chilly. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do it. You'd have a majorly chilly willy. Shrinky winky time. So I think we had one day like this last year in uh, where were we? Austria. We had one day kind of sunny and then the rain came in. So it's so nice to be in like the Alpine mountains with blue skies and sun <laughs> and flies. Well, we're following the signs to where it says the lake is, but we literally can't find it. <laughs> We're just, I feel like it's taking us around the outskirts of the lake without actually seeing it. So if you come, don't follow the signs. Just stay on the road. Maybe we'll get to it now. Hold on. Let's see. Right, Rich wants to cut through the bush because we're halfway around this bloody lake already. But there's loads of like cord and doff tape there. I don't know if they're, well, I don't know what they're doing. We made it, finally. We walked around the entire thing without seeing it. God, look how blue it is. Hello. This is incredible. That's a real nice crouching spot. <laughs> Has anybody seen the episode of Idiot Abroad where Carl climbs up Mount Fuji and he goes, have you ever seen a view more stunning than that? Like it's amazing, isn't it? But then who put that there? <laughs> I mean, I, I know that obviously we're just building the path, but what a great spot for a bit of work. Not bad, is it? To see the horizon in the far Excuses were too for a penny This lovely peaceful dog, peaceful setting Look at this But give him a minute Oh, I think he can already hear it Give him a minute and he'll be going completely nuts 
All right, Bowie. It's fine. It's not going to get you. So after a lovely evening stroll, the sun is setting and I think we're going to head back to the van now and get some grub because eight o'clock, we've got 45 minutes to get back. It takes about 20 minutes to walk. So I think we're good because the sun sets at uh, 8.45. And apparently there's wolves around here, so I don't want to stick around and find out. <laughs> so, head back. And the mozzies are starting to come out as well. But it's been such a nice walk around here, hasn't it, when we finally found it? Yeah, it's been a really good day in general. Yeah. Okay. Best day of the trip so far for me. In the mountains. So I think we're going to have a walk back down here tomorrow morning. See what it's like in the not dusky kind of light. Oh, it's so pretty here. They're doing loads of building work too, I don't quite know what they're doing, but just building platforms and things like that. That'd be nice. I mean, it ends there, I don't know if they're leaving it like that or if they're going to do any more. But. So we're back at the point in which, at the beginning, I said we should go because the sign's here. So I, I thought that way looked like the way, but Rich thought this way would be the way because it says depart. So it says, it says the, like the Duquette, so both ways are right. I just sort of guided you. Mm. I ain't lying, I ain't sat now. I'm not being funny, the majority of the time I am right. <laughs> It's through, it's just fact. On our way back from the most amazing lake walk. Beautiful lake. And now. It's tea time. Oh yeah. Mexican rice is on the menu. And home sweet home. More importantly, food sweet food. Well, I have to say, I've had worse spots for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. And this is the spot we stayed at last night. It's absolutely stunning here. It's just near the uh, Blue Lake. But I think we decided to stay two nights tonight, just because, why not, more than anything. And just to recharge ourselves a little bit. It's uh, just amazing here, it really is. It's a real, uh, uh, what's it called? It's a real, uh, not needle in the haystack. <laughs> That's the word. Yeah, it's a real uh, diamond in the rough, is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Do van life, it's just the best, it really is. Morning campers. Good morning. Nice to see you. Do you own any of your own clothes? <laughs> Literally stolen all my, uh, my wardrobe. This is Rich's. Everything else is mine. Yeah. It's cosy, it's warm. Anyway, woken up to an amazing day. Oh! oh. <laughs> Plan is, I think we're going to head back down to have another walk around the lake. Hopefully, go around the actual path this time, <laughs> rather than going off road. Having a bit of an easy one because there's just been a lot of driving over the last few days. Lots of driving, lots of rain, and there's going to be rain this evening. But I don't know. We'll see. I end up staying here for the afternoon because forecast the rain's coming in at sort of two or three o'clock. Yeah. So, may up driving in the rain, but make the most of the sun while we're here. Exactly. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? Stunning, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Eloquent little breakfast. Bowie's had his, and then this is what happens at the end of every single <laughs> one of our breakfast times. This is one of our mine and Bowie's little traditions in the van. Just inside my breakfast, I'll leave him a, a little bit of what I've got left, mainly fruit. <laughs> Not normally at the table, I'll be honest. No. Being <laughs> friends today, aren't you, boy? And there's no need to wash the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there is. We do wash it. Got our own dishwasher in the van. Santé. Santé.
appreciation of what yesterday would have been like if we were to see it for the first time with like the amazing view. Because <laughs> we kind of just came through the, the shrubs. <laughs> oh my God, look how blue it is. <gasps> wow. It is stunning though, look at it. Ah, buffet. Incredible. I just cannot believe how blue this water is. It's so no. pretty. I don't know why. It must be some kind of minerals in it or something. Perhaps. Maybe. But it's, yeah, it's just amazing. See, I don't think we've seen a lake this blue before. Well, the one in Spain. Yeah, it was a different kind of blue, I feel, that one. That was more like sapphire blue, and this is more turquoise, I guess. It's like the Maldives, but... It's like the same colour as my coat. It is. Catchy. <laughs> had to bring Bo for a little wander on his own because Rich is flying the drone. And as we know, Bowie very much dislikes it. So, a little walk on our own, away from it. We'll probably go crazy in a minute because I think Rich is flying it over. So, cue epic drone sequence. Now. <laughs> takeoff and landing so we're back with Rich now to go and have a look at the footage and I'll take him off again when he lands <laughs> as inviting as it looks you're not allowed to go swimming unfortunately such a shame it really is it would be absolutely freezing though to be fair I kind of feel like I need it now though it's, uh, <laughs> I know it's really hot now really sweaty now we're just finishing the walk at the lake and we're going to head back to the van for a spot of lunch before we decide what to do because the rain's coming in apparently this afternoon. So it either means hunkering down, maybe doing a bit of work, potentially, or I guess we pack up and drive to the next spot. That we don't know yet. We don't know yet, but we'll decide. But for fine. now, lunch time. Mm -hmm. 